Oh, oh good morning. <clears throat> I got it. This uh, GoPro app, ugh, it has gotten worse. They just want you to go ahead and buy everything. Uh, just want to control my camera here and at the same time listen to music, hopefully. And then we're going to, in this tiny garage, on this cloudy, rainy day. Any time here. So, uh, John Deere 145 in here. It seems like the year of the deer. Um, yeah, all right, so we have a pretty good view. I just wanted to make sure we had a good view. Seems like the year of the deer here. I have uh, had a lot of service calls for John Deere's this year. Uh, probably one of the most disappointing ones was uh, for a X590. And if you uh, if you own an X590, uh, what I will warn you about is if you had the hydraulic lift and you blow a belt, don't lift the deck all the way up. You will bend your uh, tensioner pulley <clears throat> because the pulley actually slaps back out underneath the frame after you break your belt, or can slap back out under your frame. And uh, <clears throat> when you lift this, sorry, still waking up here. When you lift your deck all the way up, then that the frame's here and the pulley's here, and then, it, you know, you just, you, with the hydraulic one, you can keep lifting. So there's no, uh, no stopping it. So, uh, i push this guy back here. I have this in here uh, primarily for a head gasket. Uh, I already had the uh, hood off, but if you've never lifted one of these off, if you kind of get it to a certain angle here, it'll. They usually lift right off. I'm not saying that that's not the case today. There we go. Just takes a little finagle in. There we go. Uh, let's find a place we can set this without it dropping everything or falling over. It's like a uh, Jenga puzzle in here. Also, before you do that, I had already done it. You wanna make sure that you disconnect your headlight plug. Um, I'm going to see if I can help this gentleman by adding some glue or something and I don't, eh, they won't. I, I noticed that when I was trying to turn these off, they kind of were hung up. I used a uh, flathead screwdriver under here and applied a little bit of pressure to get the, uh, the leverage needed. Um, Today's part bucket is brought to you by Chemtech Wet Sack System. Uh, I think this was a container I had laying around work. I see them every once in a while after they're done using them. And uh, I, I like the Folgers brand. They're nice. Uh, but let's see what kind of critters we've got in here this morning. So, uh, start this project off, you'll need to remove this. Should disconnect the battery. I believe I am. Uh, move over to, uh, yep. Yippers. Yo, that is the house of rising sun. I will try these. Nope. A house in New Orleans. Yep. You son of a biscuit. There we go. There's that one. Even though that's plastic. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. 
Um, I think I said it already. These were in here for, this is in here for a head gasket. Uh, Um, yeah, that's what you want to do is drop that right down in there. So I have a preview of this unit here and why it's in here. Um, besides the rough idling and running, it uh, is actually dripping oil out of the out of the head gaskets. Actually, I should say the head gasket on this side. Most apparently. And he did say he put fresh gas in it, but I don't know, either the gas is just smelling like crap to me lately and uh, the gas stations are getting crappy gas or uh, there might have been some residual gas hiding in there somewhere. Uh, a lot of times what people do is they'll, they'll go and they'll fill up uh, on top of the crappy gas that's already in there and that's not necessarily a big problem, but <clears throat> Just depends how much gas you have in there. Uh, it can turn into a uh, a big debacle quick. Good God, where are you at today? It's three eighths, just so you know. It was eight millimeter on the top flathead for that, and then. <clears throat> I should have used the clean bucket, but you dumb dumb. At least they're getting uh, clean. Dumb dumb. Dumb dumb dumb. Dumb 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 dumb. Oh, that one's already missing. Hell. Eh, we'll put this over with the rest of the plastic crap. That was interesting. So, uh, I'm gonna say this cover's already been off. I'm not sure what for, just cause that bolt was missing there. Not sure who had it apart or why they had it apart, but, uh, yeah, that's uh, that's a, that's interesting. Now, now I'm hesitant to even. Uh, I quoted them a certain amount. You can see here, uh, the oil is just kind of dripping down in here. It's boiling and bubbling. Uh, I quoted them uh, a certain price, and now I'm 
very hesitant to stick with the price because I don't like to dig around on other people's crap. Come here. Come here. Yeah, see, I got burr on the end of that. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Attack this. We'll take the other heat shields off here. Unplug these. Not much. Yeah. Um. I'll take the fuel pump off. Uh, oh. Blue on back. Get this out of here so I don't keep throwing crap in there. days to get to organize in the after that it'll just turn into a shit show anyways this guy can't even tell you about this one we won't talk about that one that one's a hot mess uh, oh my god not already things were going very well and now things are going very bad Thank you. I think we'll probably try to replace or at least cover this up. That's a, uh, that's sort of problematic. Uh, yeah, there's been some, somebody's done a little bit of mischievous, uh, fabricating in here. So, hey, look, there looks like a, uh, it's been sitting long enough. The Mises have been where the uh, chippies have been happy, having a good time. Whee! Okay. You're an idiot. That Biden is uh, advocating for farmers to have their private mechanics or themselves work on the uh, their equipment. Um, I saw a Vice episode a few years ago that uh, the uh, farmers were hacking their equipment because the John Deere company even though at one point in history they were uh, advocates for uh, supporting farmers by not repossessing their equipment during the Great Depression, from what I understand. Uh, they certainly have gone ahead and made a mess of the uh, current situation with regards to uh, maintaining equipment, so. Pandora playing in the background. I don't know what kind of requirements YouTube will require me to have with regards to copyright issues. Uh,
surprised that back plate was missing or bolt in the back that was missing uh, only because I would figure these would be the first to be missing that guy pro whoever was working on it probably just pulled the cover and was like forget it uh, I don't know what they were doing in here but it looks like the uh, ignition coil was boiling over I don't know if you can see that little bit of what appears to look like sap almost boiling up from it but that is typically epoxy or glue that is securing the uh, sheathing and the wire and to uh, the um, end of the actual pack itself there. snap a zip tie oh, yeah. This side doesn't look so bad, but that other side looks looking pretty bad. Yeah. I didn't see any active leaks. I had it in here overnight. Uh, when I say active leaks, I mean, other than what's going on here, I wasn't dripping on the floor. I know got this for some reason right there. we go. Yeah, someone else had that one apart too. You can kind of see it was stretched. And if you're wondering, it's a uh, 5 16th. And it was also 5 16th for the uh, cover underneath there, too. You know, I have to remove these, but because I'm going to be messing with that wire anyways, I'm pulling it. So I'm going to be very careful when you put these back together. You technically don't want to use that to put it back in because uh, you will guarantee yourself a disaster, most likely by snapping at that sh crappy aluminum let's see does it look like a crack I was looking for telltale signs of things you know especially in the single heads you can notice like uh, creases and cracks where people did head gaskets before or other kind of weird work uh, yeah, we're gonna, I'm gonna at least, I'm gonna try to get some heat shrink around that. We'll probably, I'll probably cut that. I'll use one of my Kujaks, Kujaks, whatever they are with the uh, solder and the water proofing right in it. 
to uh, seal that up. I'll pull the carburetor off it. If we can get it, get everything into it. There's my universal. You use the universal you just want to be careful you don't let it smack the plastic housing too much because you can break that hopefully not i pointed that out i don't do that but Same thing with when you're putting these back together. I try to do them by hand because you just don't want to hammer on stuff too hard. These are kind of a pain in the butt too. You gotta, looks like somebody else, I mean that's all bent up. I don't know if you can see that, but it's like somebody else already had that all apart. I probably don't have any. Nice set of this to the prom on time. So that's that. We'll clean this up. Uh, I honestly can get a new carburetor for this for probably 20 or 30 bucks, but we'll clean it up. Should put it in the garbage can because it's pretty much where all John Deere crap belongs. <clears throat> Working our way in here. Uh, You can see, I mean, just blowing it out. You can see that right there. And it, uh, when we pull that off, you'll be able to see down in there a little bit more. Uh, I think we need to get the, uh, the chaser out. I think these either need to be cleaned because you can definitely feel a lot of schmooze. In there and those guys are not going in there very well so i gotta go over to wally world get a bunch of a uh yeah i might get the I'm gonna pull the tap out do that that head gasket's all or that uh valve cover gasket's been blowing back i'm out of copper or tv but uh and technically when you pull this, this stuff off you, you could pull the heads and pull the heads together uh, so uh, and I have we'll pull the valve covers I should probably get an oil pan under this but what I will say is that it isn't necessarily John Deere's fault that you blow head head valve cover gaskets and head or head gaskets a lot of times it's because the consumers just uh, beat the snot out of their equipment they don't change they don't change oil frequently they uh, run it into really heavy grass uh, you know, they will develop weeps and leaks over the years, but, uh, you know, these are all, these are all, uh, Briggs and Stratton's or, or, uh, yeah, see, like that one wasn't, 
that one wasn't really even on there. Uh, and look how clean the oil is in there. I mean, that was, uh, that was a fresh job. Gotta charge you 10 bucks for a shop rag, bud. Sorry. Yeah. That means someone was well aware of uh, the issue going on there. They popped that side for whatever reason. When you're doing this, I always, oh, well, I always say grab it in the corner, but that's probably where I needed the shop rag at most, huh? Yeah, look, the oil is so clean. Uh, I'm not sure why. Uh, interesting. See, in these you have, and I don't know if you can see it down there, you got one one bolt hidden down in there. You also have to remove the uh, exhaust. Uh, you can take this plate off here. With a different socket. Because, you know, it can't be, can't be any of the two you already have out. Right, I think that's, yeah. Gotta kick it up to a metric now, I think. I think it's 10 millimeter. I don't have a 10 millimeter on either one of these, probably. Because yeah. 10 millimeter is the most lost socket in the world. Or wrench. Pick one. I had to go back through my manual too because I think these are 17 foot pounds on the valve covers but I don't remember them. So, uh, all right, we're gonna put these back in their perspective spots. <whistles> uh, game plan. Game plan. need to find one of my extensions. Oh, there, thankfully, I had one in here. Wow. Well, yep, alrighty. <whistles> Since uh, those appear that they're seized in there, let's hope that we don't bust these out of here now. That should come out easy because got enough lube on it. When you're doing this, make sure you don't lose or 
uh, try to keep your your lifters in the or your push rods in the right places because you'll find out look there's like a, a centipede dead centipede down in there or something uh, oh yeah well we're gonna take the plate and the bracket off on the front here because it just make it easier for me to work on so close no matter how far so if you take notice the smaller ones on the bot your thinner uh your thinner uh push rods on the bottom i almost feel like i hear them over running out there which is peculiar for a day like today been myself this way don't just say and nothing else matters trust i seek and i find in you Same thing for when you're putting these back together. Always hand start those. I always hand start them and then I'll run them in. And I'm gonna try to keep those all in the same spot because it's important to me. Let's do this side too while we're at it, I guess. no matter how i always try to leave these hang if i can because i can never remember which way i put the spring on as far as like the uh inside outside whatever uh nothing else matters and we'll take that off too uh think 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 So remember, brown is down, white is on top. Otherwise you will have a very miserable day. And you need to remove the bolts. Dent, seek, finding you. If the piston wasn't in that spot, I guess maybe I could wriggle it. Oh, there, that guy's in there, that's why. Oh, gotta remove the exhaust. There we go. Let's say, I usually pull those off with, and I dropped all the bolts and I was trying to keep in line there, but.
you can see push down through here definitely weeping at the bottom blowing through the top uh, I don't see a clear passage though like you normally see but you can see yeah, it may actually be maybe the governor seal I mean, it does look like, you know, based on my observations here, that eh, maybe over in here almost looked like apparently there was two gaskets on there one, one second there. But uh, usually you see a clear passage, but this could be, we'll clean this up, we'll do the heads. I'm gonna go with heads first, but the seal for the governor could be could be leaking there. Yeah. We're gonna say uh Looking for probably going to push this out in the yard and we'll pressure wash everything. Uh, I mean, you can see the cylinder's got a lot of carbon on it, so it's definitely got problems in there or the piston I'm sorry we're gonna go with head gasket we'll go with head gasket and uh, Extensiano, where'd you go? Too much, uh, vibrations. And that uh, extension oh, to provide enough torque to pull. Again, brown is down. And like I said, you should be able to pull these straight out. As long as you're not hooked in anything. Like a bolt. And don't bend your rod while you're at it.
Can't get that hazing to go away on that one. So, let's see what's in the package. Now, it doesn't say do not bend on this one, which is freaking sweet. Thanks for marking that. Oh, you put it on the packages in there. That's uh, genius, let me tell you. They jammed it in my mailbox. Thankfully, my mailman didn't, uh, or a woman. Sometimes it's a woman, I guess. Didn't bend it all the hell up. I probably will not do the intake seals on this. I probably will just do the seals or the caskets. I mean, I haven't decided yet. So. See, these are pretty much dummy proof too. Can only put them on one way. This is after I do a head job, he, uh, I can get right to testing it, making sure everything's uh, cool with it. Um, hindsight's 2020 there. I should have gone ahead and uh, separated the uh, valve cover gas or the uh, push rods. Not that I think that they're supposed to be this. They're both, they're, both sides are supposed to be even, you know, the same length. So it's not like, you know, some weird, like, you know, the left side bank is, you know, a sixteenth of a inch or a thousandth or whatever, uh, you know, shorter than another side, but it could be, the clearance could be different. You know, one side could have been pounding harder than the other side. Uh, you know, could be some small variances in there, but I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab the wire wheel whatever RTV was used here was not a very good RTV it feels very pliable this is definitely not 
to me it doesn't appear to be what came on it yeah you can see oh no that's just uh, let's see because this stuff is just peeling off of here the stuff i used by uh, permatex definitely does not come off this easily It's another one you can wire wheel. I wire wheel them every once in a while, just balance and act. Yeah, I love that one. That's great when that happens. Ah. This is just more so than anything. It just didn't, uh, you get your hands dirty and the chemicals and stuff like that. And I've already gone through almost a whole can of uh, carb cleaner there. Let's look at this. So, even though that's a ground, I guess I'm, I'll leave that one alone. That's a ground, but it should come over this way. Um, actually, uh, I lie. That's a hot. It creates the polarity with the ground for your uh, anti-backfire. So we will, we will. This is another reason why I like to use a little uh, RTV because then it'll set up in there. This though, let's see. It's worn through there. I actually see the wire. So, let's see if I get some Kujex. A lighter laying around here. A lighter. It's gonna fall off there now. said if this wasn't worn through I probably wouldn't mess with it but it's worn through I 
hopefully that didn't uh, shorten it up so much so that I can't get it down underneath. I think I'll have plenty of room there. Got the right freaking tools for the job that's uh again comes in for a head gasket i'm sure that some of this shit has some issues with regards it was as you can see in that previous video there it was a little uh botched up and they had the they had this wire running above i'm gonna run it down below i think uh if i can here i don't know where to go with the rest of the plug because i got upset there let's see uh, kujex there you go push them together They cool for a second or two. These are uh, the Kujex. I like these. They're quick. They're easy. I said, ah, uh, yeah. You got to I see. We got to run it over top. You can't run it down. You don't want to get it hung up in the. Uh, hung up in the uh, governor. Governor. So you got to run it down this way. Yeah, it was the only burn through on that. Looks like the only burn through on that. Before I get too crazy with this.
These I'm not so worried about. <sighs> and never mind that noise you heard. I might actually, in order to get that, uh, cause I don't think I have a small enough Allen key maybe, I have to look to get that Allen key up under there. Uh, actually, you know what? Yeah. Hindsight, it's 2020. I always say that. <sighs> I'm conflicted. I really am. So conflicted. I'll tell you why I'm conflicted. Actually, I had a workbench. This is ridiculous. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Yes, I know it's not the best thing for the tire, but you know what? I think that this thing's been bleeding and not taken care of for a long time. That little brake lean. And some muddy tires will be all right. I'll try to wipe this off as best as I can.
Cheers. Come back to you. At least this way. I have it almost all the way up and I can tighten this up fairly easily. I still have to think about what I'm doing with this. I had small paws, so. open get out of my way get out of my way get 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 <laughs> chunk 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 throw it here throw it there throw it everywhere <laughs> yep so what I decided I was gonna do is be a nice guy here make sure that when you do this nice guy stuff that you're not in the wrong direction on your uh, Duma Hicker 
I'm gonna leave that one in there for a minute. We're gonna dip. He was in love. Don't worry about a thing, baby girl. You've been dreaming of. Clint again should get some static walking through the door. Call her a sinner and they call her a whore. Walk my little shoes. So we be the be the be 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 Yeah, there's some interesting stuff that was occurring here. New spark plugs. Uh, take a break I gotta find my uh, torsion wrench well this isn't the practical way to do it but I just broke this piece of I don't know how this thing this is the second one of these pieces yeah you get horrible freight stuff you get horrible freight stuff I'm gonna see if I can take that back and uh, get them to replace it but uh, they do offer a lifetime warranty on their stuff so uh, we're going to the old school uh, Oh, yeah, crap. Expected stuff when you're trying to find expected stuff, right? Never ceases to amaze me. Um, so when I say unexpected my lovely horrible freight crapper is not functioning properly so I had to go back to 1986 with my uh, I hope I can get in here now is this long enough probably need an extension huh so I hate these. No, they so aren't freaking. Close enough, I guess. Uh... Don't you know you are? God, the brake clean is killing me.
Today's lesson is it just might be easier to. Why is that not over that? There you go. Is that really? Let's see if that's. Good. got these uh, valve covers tightened up so let's jump right into it we'll uh, do a quick compression test and yeah, that one's a little light would have liked to have seen it at 125 uh, yeah. I don't think I'm gonna pull it back apart to go ahead and run after that but 
Like so people call all day long. One person, people, one person. One person. This also isn't the best gauge. Uh, I'll chase that other side. A white mark and then I measure out a quarter inch. Measure out a quarter inch on that. Doesn't have to be perfect, just needs to get there. Now if I can quickly find the crap that I need before this battery. This is a third battery, and actually second battery, third battery in this GoPro today. So uh, I get out my point zero zero five. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then let's find my other shiitake. Uh, I was just talking about these, you know, the Torx, T T40 Torx. Threw it over there, you know. Hi, battery's gonna die before I find it. It's the way it goes. It's the way it goes. It's the way it goes. That's the way it goes. I was just like, yeah, look at this pass through, blah, blah, blah. Son of a bitch. Because everybody keeps calling people. Now look. God dang it. That looks like it's. I'm content with that. All right, we need to find an Allen key to uh, tighten that up. Uh-oh, I'm in trouble now. What's up, mom? Um, do you guys have a uh, supper plan? I'm making chicken and wild rice soup. Uh, I don't know. Sharon's going to pick up Daniel right now, so. What? She's picking Daniel up? Yeah. Right, well, give, me, give me a bun back. Okay. All right, bye. Bye. Can't interrupt, Ma. You interrupted my, my work, Mom. I'm working. I think six millimeters will work. Is it this? So, I don't think I have a long enough bar though. 
because I can't find anything anymore in my life. I need someone to just come in and organize me. Just to organize me. Organize. Organize me. Well, that would be the cheat there if I could go ahead and get my, uh... Man, he's really risking it today. If I could, uh... That guy drives all the way out of Chester County and next county over. If I could, uh... If you had an extension long enough, you could uh, get up under there through that spot, but I don't have an extension long enough right now. I don't know where it's at. So I had to do it the old fashioned way if I can get my fingers. Talking about a needle and a spoon. Sitting in there, you don't want to. You want to go ape shit. You want to make sure they're good and tight, but oh. Again, take your gasket, line it up. What happens, and I mean, you know, gaskets are easy to, to replace. And like I said, you saw, they used RTV on this, but the RTV requires me to wait 24 hours to, uh, to test this, make sure that she's running sweet. Uh, and I don't like to wait 24 hours because honestly, I'd like to bang this out and call the guy up and tell him to come get it today. Uh, if I can. I just want to make sure that, uh, you know, I run it around. I'll go mow the neighbor's lawns. They love it, you know. Uh, most of my neighbors are. Oh, both my neighbors on both sides of me in their 70s and 80s, I guess, or whatever, but uh, keeps them out of the heat. Is what it is. Stones don't give a crap. Should have been a rock and roll star. If I could have played a guitar. And these, uh, yeah, you don't want to get too crazy with these either, too. Okay, smash these on, you'll split that gasket. And it's just a lip, a little rim around the outside of the uh, valve cover that.
All right. GoPro batteries absolutely suck. I got my feeler gauges out here. We got about 125, 130 pounds of uh, pressure in each cylinder. I had to adjust the uh, the lashes out real quick. Uh, what I will say is, if you don't have a set of these here, uh, these are pass-through sockets. They are pretty cool. Um, you know, granted, I don't use them all that often. I originally bought these for doing a shift cable on a boat. I don't remember if they worked or not. I don't think they did for the boat, but they uh, they absolutely work great for projects like this. So after you get your, you know, your valve lash setting set uh, in the correct spot and put that over there, tighten it down and then lock it in there uh, with your uh, pass through set there and your torques. Yeah, there's a, in the front of this one, it is a uh, da -da 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 T40 for that set and it's supposed to be uh, Oh, I forget how many pounds, foot pounds. Uh, I, I I just torque them till they're tight. I'm sure that uh, the number of jobs that I've done are uh, fine with that. So uh, it's another thing you don't want to get too uh, reckless if you use a. Uh, impact gun there to tighten them up that's fine but you don't want to actually i lose them just a little bit so don't wreck that cover that uh gasket because you get the gasket in there crooked and break out your uh do, do, do. Handy dandy ratchet. Give it a doop. Doop. There goes my feelers. Doop. Those were a Baldwin set of feelers, believe it or not. I know Baldwin still makes stuff, but uh these are uh, Baldwin number 222 Baldwin, made in the USA. I'll stretch of this. Um, I think in order to remediate whatever's going on there, we're just gonna add a piece of uh, <clears throat> heat shrink to that. One more piece of heat shrink, I should say. I'm going to tear apart the carburetor here in a minute and give that a good once over. This is the horrible freight special stuff. Uh, this heat shrink's actually pretty good. I can't complain about it. It's heat shrink. It's held up well. I use it on my boat. Uh, but like I pointed out earlier, I really like the Kujik. Uh, product that was really just to cover up that exposed uh, wire that was in there that's a pretty pretty well exposed piece there too I'm gonna fit this through there a pretty well exposed piece there
It was interesting that that side was uh, exposed so much, but looks like my bick is at the end of its wick, uh, son of a biscuit. Dang it. Well. Thankfully we made it through. We would like to have had a little bit more heat in there, but that'd be good enough. <clears throat> Continue forward, put this back together, and hope the next video you see, well, and guess what? You want to see, you guys want to see the carburetor torn apart, huh? Uh, yeah. Now it's here somewhere. There it is. We're gonna we'll give this a cleaning, I guess. Should take it out and hit it with a pressure washer, Jesus. Number two. I'm gonna do that to try to keep the extra black out of the inside of the carburetor when they're and I need a uh, Phillips head here I believe. Would be nice if they would have used a uh, yeah, that stuff hits you. This one's not wide enough, but. I, mean, I left my nice flat head at my mom's. Different one now. Good gravy. be dropping stuff. Gravity sucks ass. Yeah, I don't know what that was that just popped in there, but it sounded like an O-ring. Look at the grime in the bottom of that. Not sure if you can see it, but if I can find my clean these out these aren't difficult to do but it's all right you're the one that's gonna be on YouTube not me yeah. I need something to loosen up the dog need, I don't want to take it. here honey what are you gonna do out there you're gonna mess stuff up just leave it alone yeah, uh, here, come smell this. Here you go. Hold on. I mean, it's already all over the house. Hello, <laughs> YouTube. <laughs> all right. Well, I don't know how we got going out there, but I'm gonna do some gloves. That's the first thing I do. Because uh, I definitely see, uh, you know, pretty, pretty wires going in your hands and stuff. I don't want to pull it off, but son of a bitch. I'm not gonna be standing up here right now. Hey, look, there's my other feelings. Shit. Look at those. Yeah. Now, what I wanted to do was try to get down in there and get some of that other grime out of there. There we go.
push out on the epoxy floor. We gotta put it in there first. And I hope I didn't just screw that all up because I probably should have put that plate in first to begin with, huh? What did I do with that plate? That's for. Plate go for the back of that. Uh oh, let me tell you, Diddy, about Jack and Diane, two American kids growing up in the heartland. Heartland. 
a football store. Just Jakey's car. You got a Justine in there now, don't you? Guess I'm gonna have to remove that. Got a Justine in the back of Jackie's car. Deep freeze. What's he doing? I should segue right into Billy uh, Billy Joel's. Uh, yeah, what is that? The uh, uh, bottle of red, bottle of white. I do not like how they run this crap. Stupid setup. I say that about a lot of stuff, but I don't have any solution or remedy, right? Let it roll. Yeah, you can see somebody had this thing all that rod all bent up and broken. see if it stays on one more thing I do to kind of cheat here with this uh, I use a business card to uh, get my ignition coil and my uh, flywheel uh, sort of takes the guesswork out of it um, I do have feelers for this but I've done this for many, many years now and have never had any issues doing it this way. Uh, always spin your flywheel though. Uh, make sure that, make sure that it's uh, 
it's where it needs to go you don't want to get too crazy with this you will bust that out absolutely guaranteed so uh yeah i spent years in real estate 16 years in real estate and wish that i would do as many real estate transactions as i do with mowers uh, didn't know enough rich people so all right well next video will be uh, this running well, hopefully this isn't a bust <clears throat> yeah take the brake off a little hot and humid out trying to bump into my motorcycle and let's hope uh Let's hope this baby doesn't spin and break and do something else. Choke it. Oh, it'd do some good to put both spark plug wires on, right? <laughs>